So far, you've learned how to enable the food order form layout automatically so that you have all your products listed on one page divided by category. There's also a short code that comes with the plugin, which lets you create more flexible food order forms so that you can just list food from a specific category only or maybe add information between the lists of different foods. So let's do that now. We're going to create a new page where we're going to add our short code. So in the WordPress admin, we go to pages, add new. And I'm going to use the example of meal deals because that's a common reason why you might want to list foods in a more bespoke way. So we'll call the page meal deals. And then I'm going to write an introductory sentence which you wouldn't normally be able to do if you use the automatic method. So let's say choose two starters and two main courses. And then I'm going to add a short code, which is restaurant underscore ordering. Now, if I just close the short code like that with the square brackets, then that would list all of my food. So it would basically be the same thing that you've already added for your main restaurant ordering page. It would list all your food products divided by category. But what we want to do is list food items from a specific category only. So inside the short code, I'm going to add a space and write categories equals starters. So that's going to list my starters. I think I'm going to add a heading above it, actually. So let's do that. So I'm going to use the heading block. Uh, choose two starters and then I'm going to move it up there. So now we've got a he he an introduction, heading with two, two starters, and then a short code, which will list the starters. And similarly, I'm going to add another heading. So I'll do that. Heading, choose two mains. And then I'm going to copy my short code here. And then I'm going to change that category name to mains. If you wanted to list more than one category, Category here, then you do a comma and then you'd write mains there and so on. So these are the category slugs. It's not the category name, which might be like main courses, which might have capitals and a gap. It's the slug, which is always lowercase. And you can find that on your edit category page. But I just want to list one product from each category. Now I'm going to publish the page and show you what this looks like and it's not going to be quite right yet so I'm going to show you how to use more shortcode options to get it exactly how you want it. So let's press publish, publish the page and then I'm going to go view page. So this is the page I just created. We've got meal deals, the introduction and then we've got the heading I added but as you can see the shortcode has added the word starters which is the category name above the list of starters then i've got my heading choose two mains and the short code has added mains well you don't really want two headings like that so let's edit it a bit to do that it's best to go to the plugin knowledge base this is a page from the woocommerce restaurant ordering plugin knowledge base which tells you how to use the short code so here in this article, you've got create food order forms using a short code, and you can see all the different short code options that you can use to customize each food order form individually. So I've gone to that section. We've already used the categories option to tell it which categories we want to display, but I want to disable the category titles. So let's copy category underscore titles equals false into my two short codes like that. And I'll update the page and then show you what it's done. So I'll refresh the page. And here you can see it's got rid of the extra heading, which looks a lot neater. Because I've added my custom heading, I don't need the category name appearing there. Let's do some other stuff just to show you how each food order form can be different. So back to the knowledge base. This time I'm going to... Um, Let's hide the product description for my starters category, just to make it a bit different from the main courses category. So I've copied product description equals false. And then I'm going to show you what that does. See, it's gone. So you can show different information in each short code. And finally, I'm going to change the number of columns to three. 
So I'm going to copy columns equals two, but I actually want three. So all I do is change two to three and you can have one, two or three columns. So we've updated the page, refresh again, and you can see that it's changed. So I now have a meal deals page, which tells me, guides me through the process of building my meal. And of course, I could also add more categories like choose a dessert, choose a side, that kind of thing. In the notes to this lesson, I'll put a link to another plugin that you can use in addition to WooCommerce restaurant ordering, which will allow you to physically control how many of each product people can buy. So if you want to prevent people from ordering less than two or more than two starters, for example, then what you would do is set a category rule on those categories. So you can order two from the starters category, two from the mains category and so on. So if you want that extra level of security to actually prevent people from ordering more or less than they should, then that's how you do it. So that's a simple method to use shortcodes to create more advanced food ordering pages. It's quite handy. So if, for example, you wanted to create a tabs layout or an accordion type layout, which had a different food order form within each one, then you could do that by using any page builder plugin like Elementor or Visual Composer, Divi, whatever, to create your tabs layout. And then you would use the restaurant ordering shortcode to put a different shortcode within each tab.